Let's try it. Let's get it. Let's try the position hold with an extra bit of power. Position hold. No. Position hold. See? Off. Position. Ah, oh, we got a little tiny up there. Off. Wait, turn it off again. Position hold. Yeah, a little tiny bit of up. But you know, I don't mind that. Is it on? Yeah. Position. See how far it drops. We could do a turn that landing off as well, couldn't we? Oh. So let's just bring that in and tell it to turn the landing off. Now this time I'm going to do the... Let's say about there. There's a little bit of... Just see there? That, that'll do. Engine disabled. So let's just turn that... Uh, let's just turn that off. Get into the features, navigation, return to home. So we are gonna tell first land after return to home. We'll put that in fail safe only. We've got the choice of never, always, or fail safe only. All right, if it's a fail safe, we probably want it to land anyway, don't we? As so, carefully as what we can. So let's just go up there so we can go back. Up there so we can go back. It's getting very warm out here now. Uh, oh, let's go up there so we can save and reboot. Okay. Probably end up taking snippets out of water, it's different. So we go, look at that, look, that, that H stop is 1.1, 1 .1. brilliant. Engines are. It's, uh, you can get your H stop like that, you know that you've got a good a good connection to that satellite. So let's just do um, do that there. Then we'll do a quick return to home. I know it's only a few meters, but I think I should be okay. Return to home. It put itself return back in your orientation it took off in. Now it's just going to hover. So this is basically putting itself return into to position home. hold, um, where it says on the screen here, like that it's just hovering. Return to home. Which is great. Which is great. We can't really ask for Return to home. anything better than that. Off. So I'm just going to go for a little bit of a. Uh, I can see there's some muck on on the camera. Should have probably cleaned that up a little tiny bit, but if you can look past that, just imagine it's a bit of muck on your on your uh, driving screen. Well, you guys that don't drive at the minute but play on the online games or any of the racing games, you've got a crack in your windshield because <laughs> you've crashed. No, I can't see my speed or anything like that on here. I'm not sure if we've even done it. Oh yeah, it's up there, 17 mile an hour, 18 mile an hour. So it's not as though we're going particularly fast or anything. It's just nice to have a little bit of a fly around. Return to home. I do love that Return feature. I mean, that's. Um, it's, I should probably put it down so it faces Return me. Return to home. In actual fact, we can find out if that is the case. If it, if it does Return that from. Return to home. Oh. If I just take that off and land it and reboot it, uh, not reboot it. Sorry, just disarm it. There we go. Engine disabled. Not the greatest of landings. <laughs> but there we go. So let's now see if when I do return to home, it actually faces this way Engine's when it's armed. hovering. Let's see if I can get it back up in the air first. Right, so I'm going to go over here. 
and just there you go over there. Return to Hit home. return to home. Back it comes. Now by rights I expect return it to stay to facing us this time. But it doesn't, it faces the opposite way. Return to home. Well isn't that bizarre? So I wonder why it decides to home. I wonder why it decides to face the opposite way, unless it's Return to home. I've got to power it on from there. Okay, let's try that then. Oh. So let's turn that off and let's uh, put it down about there. Oh, there's a bit. I'm sorry, that's a little bit about there. Yeah, yeah. Engine disabled. So this time, I'm gonna I'm gonna unpower it and then power it back up again, facing the other way. I just want to know. Some people wouldn't care, but I want to know. I've got to know. I've got to know if that's the case. Right, power it that way. Telemetry recovered. Yes. Okay. So let's find out. These are the things we need to know. Oh, of course, um, every time I power off, of course, it goes into sort of like pit mode, which is all right, but uh, the darn thing's not close enough now to, to actually get a very good signal from it. So let me just move that forward just a bit. Tilt my high gain antenna towards it. You'd think that would work anyway, but uh, features, VTX, but well, it's not exactly in pit mode in the software. I'm just going to set that still to 200. In the software, um, let's just move that back up here. Yeah, in the software, it's uh, set to be on its minimal. So when I've got it on the bench, it makes life a lot easier. Uh, what was I doing? Right, so we set that, didn't we? So back. Let's go, probably went the long way for that. Get a shortcut for that. Do a save and reboot. Oh, pull the mic out. Okay, so this time, because it was facing me, let's see if it works now. Engines are. So we're gonna turn it around. over there a bit and then we're gonna do the oh big wasp big bee get lost return, return to, to home. home it's coming towards us hello uh, let's return just see what it does home. now ah right so now it's gonna face me so it seems to be then if you plug it in um, whatever direction you have it orientation you have it when you plug it in is gonna be the one that it go what it stays in Okay, that's fair enough, isn't it? Well, that's fair enough. Return to home. That's what makes oh. sense as well. Do a grass cutting. I heard the gate go down the bottom, but sometimes people just sit down the bottom. But, so I'm not going to go through where the trees are. In the winter, it's not so bad because I can see all the way through there. But in the um, in the summertime, of course, it's when you can't see through there properly. I mean, if I could see through there properly, it wouldn't be so bad. But as I can't, I don't want to crash or cause anyone any, any alarm. I'm not going to. But look, guys, I think it's getting incredibly warm for me now out here. Uh, I need to take some shade. So I think I'm going to call it that for that. I think everything's been a great success. Um, and before I crash, I want to get in on a high note of not actually crashing. So I shall see you guys in the next one.